None of this means life will go back to normal in the town of Brooklyn. Teal ribbons are still widely on display, Molly's favorite color. Her memory is still on people's hearts and minds. WHO 13's Taj Simmons shows us how they're coping. The moment a jury sealed the fate of Molly Timmons' killer closed a prolonged and painful chapter here in the town of Brooklyn. Even though we now know the end of the mystery surrounding Molly, the healing process in this town is just beginning. Being a friend of the family, it's been tough knowing what they've been going through. So. Angie Thompson has waited three years to hear justice for Molly Tibbetts' murder. The town of Brooklyn anxiously waited this past week through the trial, but finally they heard that magic word on Friday, guilty. A friend of mine owns the coffee shop and uh, she came right over. She was just sobbing like she couldn't control her emotions. It became a collective catharsis in this community, a small step in mending the deep emotional scar left behind by Tibbetts' death. It's over. It's over. We're finally at peace. After the verdict was read, you know, it's like you're in shock. You, you I, I can't describe how I'm feeling. It's like you want to cry. You want to be happy. It's justice for many Brooklynites, but it was not worth the price of Molly's life. Ribbons in her memory remain prevalent through the town, even after the jury said their verdict. Literal signs of how her legacy still shapes life in Brooklyn today. Thompson hopes the decision helps Molly find peace from above. She has to be smiling, knowing her family. I would think um, knowing her family has some relief. The conviction is the judicial system's conclusion to Molly Tibbetts' murder, but Tibbetts' mother and others in Brooklyn are trying to continue their stories without one of their brightest lights. We talk about what she wants to, I don't bring it up or anything in these last three years, so whatever she wants to talk about, but it's, it's good to have closure for that, for them to move forward. Reporting in Brooklyn, Taj Simmons, WHO 13 News. At the time of her death, Molly was pursuing a degree in child psychology. Her family established a memorial fund to benefit child and adolescent psychiatry at the University of Iowa, where she was a student. Get this, in three years, donors have contributed more than $125,000 to it.